Welcome back to Infigyan friends. In this video, we are going to take up another interesting challenging question from algebra. Equation is 1 minus x power 10 over 1 minus x equal to 1 plus x power 9 and we have to find out all real solutions. So let's get started by writing domain of the equation. So if you will see domain, denominator cannot be 0. So we will write 1 minus x can't be 0. Conclusion is x cannot be equal to 1. x equal to 1 is exempted solution if it is there. Now I will consider multiplication with 1 minus x both sides. So let us do it. 1 minus x in the LHS. Similarly, I will multiply in the RHS also. So 1 minus x, 1 minus x. What is left? 1 minus x power 10 equal to 1 plus x power 9 times 1 minus x. Now I will expand it. Once you will expand RHS, you will be having 1 minus x plus x power 9 minus x power 10. LHS is 1 minus x power 10. Now we will cancel 1 and 1 minus x power 10 with minus x power 10. So what is left? x power 9 minus x equal to 0. So we will take x common. x power 8 minus 1 equal to 0. Now we know that f dot g equal to 0. f dot g equal to 0. That means f equal to 0, g equal to 0. So I will write here x equal to 0 is straight away the very first and real solution. And second solution will come from this equation. Not second only, the remaining 8 solutions. So overall 9 solutions we are going to find out. 1 is clear, that is x is equal to 0. Now we have to find out remaining 8 solutions. Let's solve this octic equation. I will write x power 8 minus 1 equal to 0. Now difference of 2 squares. I will write formula first a square minus b square. It is a plus b times a minus b. Let's apply here. I will write x power 4 whole square minus 1 whole square equal to 0. Now a plus b a minus b. So we will have x power 4 plus 1 in one bracket. In second it is x power 4 minus 1 equal to 0. Again the same formula is applicable here. So I will write x is square whole square it is minus 1 whole square equal to 0. First term as it is x power 4 plus 1 equal to right hand side is already 0. Now difference of 2 square here. So I will write x power 4 plus 1 as it is unchanged. Now difference of 2 squares. I will write x square plus 1 and x square minus 1. Now again I will use difference of 2 squares here. So what ultimate factorization we will get that is x power 4 plus 1, x square plus 1. And then we are having x plus 1 and x minus 1 equal to 0. Now you can see easily from these two we are having two solutions x is equal to plus 1 and minus 1. So overall three solutions but which solution is exempted that as per our domain x cannot be equal to 1. So we will reject this solution. So which solution is accepted as a real solution? x is equal to 0 and x is equal to minus 1 so far. Now from these two equations, we will get complex solutions for sure because x power 4 is equal to minus 1 and x square is equal to minus 1. That means power 4 and square cannot be negative for real numbers. So if we will find out, let me calculate the values of complex solution also. 
but only two real solutions are there 0 and negative 1. Let's find out complex solution now. x power 4 plus 1 equal to 0. So we will write this one as x power 4 as it is. Then I will do one algebraic manipulation. I will add 2x square and I will subtract also equal to 0. Now you can see from the first three term we will have one formula. See it is perfect square. x square whole square plus 1 whole square plus 2 times x square times 1. So this is one perfect square formula and second 2x square we will write as it is. Now I will write directly x square plus 1 whole square it is. And this term we can write root 2x whole square. Why? Because of difference of two squares formula. Again you can presume this is a, this is b. So a square minus b square. We will write x square plus 1 plus root 2x. And in second bracket x square plus 1 minus root 2x equal to 0. So if I will combine both, I can write x square plus and minus root 2x plus 1 equal to 0. This is one quadratic equation. We will apply quadratic formula directly. Let's apply. So I will write x square plus minus root 2x plus 1 equal to 0. Let's apply quadratic formula straight away. If it is plus sign, then minus. If it is minus sign, then plus. So formula wise, x is equal to minus b. So you will write root 2 plus minus the square root of b square. So it will be 2 only. Minus 4ac, so minus 4 only divided by 2a, so 2. Now you can see it is minus plus root 2 plus minus square root 2 of negative 2. So divided by 2 also. So I will write in next step I will write plus minus root 2 plus minus i root 2 over 2. Four solutions are there. So once you will divide with 2 I can write plus minus 1 plus minus i over root 2. Denominator 2 we can write as root 2 times root 2. This can be considered as root 2 times root 2. So 1 root 2 will be over from numerator and denominator. 1 will be left in the denominator only. So here we are having 4 solutions. Plus 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 minus minus plus minus minus. 4 solutions. And one more equation is there. That is x square plus 1 equal to 0. From here we will write x square is equal to minus 1. As per complex number, i square is minus 1. Take a square root both sides. We can conclude two more complex solutions. That would be x is equal to plus minus i. So we have got all the solutions possible for this equation. So two solutions from here also. I hope this video will be meaningful to you. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye-bye till next video. Good luck and take care.